We are here with Select Board Vice Chair John Catino. John, thanks so much for joining us today. And first off, how are you doing? How's the family doing? We hope everyone's safe and healthy. Oh, it's, yeah, we're doing we're doing fine. Um, you know, it's 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 tough for my it's tough for my kids because they you know they're both home from school. I have a college senior and a college freshman. And then, as 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 many 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 of uh, your viewers know, that um, my wife is a is an OBGYN in town, so she's right on the front lines at uh, Milford Regional Hospital every single day. So it's a uh, it's it gets a little it gets a little frightening there. And is she doing okay with everything? Obviously, it's uh, not easy to work in the hospitals right now. Oh, absolutely! It is. It it's 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 scary, but. Um, you know, she uh, she's doing her job and doing a great job at it and, and uh, staying professional, just just like the rest of the uh, frontline people, it's just uh, absolutely doing their job and doing a great job and, and uh, you know, helping to uh, make this as, as painless as possible, if I can use that term. Absolutely. Less More like less painful. Yeah. <laughs> right. And I've certainly got to give all the credit in the world to the doctors, nurses, and all the hospital staff uh, right on the front lines of this thing. And you have recently been working hard yourself uh, with some other Hopkinton community members as well as the Boston Athletic Association in an effort to help out St. Vincent's Hospital. Uh, can you talk about what you guys have been doing? Yeah, um, well, we got the, the uh, board of the select board, my board of select, and I still go back and forth. Um, we, we got an inquiry from Carolyn Jackson, who's actually a neighbor of mine. Uh, she's the CEO of uh, St. Vincent's Hospital, as well as some other ones, and wanted to know if the town had any um, PPE, or you know, more specifically gowns, that, they, that, that we might be able to donate. And um, we thought about it and realized that the BAA has a lot of um, uh, these rain ponchos that we have, considering the last two years uh, haven't been the best weather for a, uh, for a marathon. And uh, they had lots of them in stock and um, we were able to get uh, about 3,000 of them to uh, give to, uh, to, to St. Vincent's Hospital so that they could use them as, uh, as uh, surgical guns. That's just wonderful. And uh, can you talk about how the uh, Boston Athletic Association uh, got involved, who reached out to them about this and thought of the idea that they have all these uh, gowns available? Yeah, that uh, actually, it, it came through between, uh, between um, uh, Norman Camalo, Brian Hearn, myself, and, um, and then the, 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 the people at, uh, at the BAA. Um, you know, it, it, it's just great. The, you know, the collaboration, cooperation that we've had over over the last uh, six or seven years has just been great. They they absolutely step step up. Uh, Tom Grilk, the uh, the CEO, is just is just fabulous, and and um, you know they really 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 come through for us. They certainly have, and uh, it's certainly a great thing that you guys are doing. Uh, can you talk about some of the volunteers that are helping in this effort? Uh, I understand there's a good amount of community members involved. Um, well, it, 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 it's all over. You know, it's, you know, a lot of people just are just doing things quietly. And, you know, that's just, it's just the way Hopkinton is, you know, and, and, I, and I say it all the time, but we're a community that take care of each other. You know, where would we be if, 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 we, if we couldn't count on, you know, on, on, on friends and neighbors and, and uh, you know, and, and the rest of the, uh, the community? Um, you know, we've always been a community that uh, when somebody's hurting, that uh, they, the rest of the neighborhood or the rest of the, the rest of that town step up. You know, we've got uh, you know, dozens of people that, that are helping out at, uh, at, at the senior center. Um, uh, you know, and, this, and, and there are dozens more um, that we don't even have jobs. The, 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 uh, the director just sent out a message that, um, um, you know, because of the, the social distancing and everything, we can't even utilize all the volunteers that are coming forward. And it's just, it's, it's, it's a great feeling to know that so many people want to come and, and, and help out. And what have some of your tasks uh, been in this effort to help out St. Vincent's? Uh, how, and how many days uh, per week are, are you helping uh, them out? No, this was, a, this, this was really just a, this was a one-shot deal at this point. 
Um, right now, we just we just uh, approached the uh, BAA again to see if we could uh, get some from Milford Hospital. Milford Hospital just ran out yesterday of, of uh, plastic um, uh, surgical gowns. And uh, so I just put a call into them uh, just, just prior to our call when I was on my ride home. Um, I called uh, the, their director of communications to, uh, to see if, if they could uh, uh, find some more in the warehouse for us. That's terrific. Just a great thing you guys are doing. Uh, but switching gears a little bit, the agenda to the upcoming select board meeting uh, for next week was recently sent out, and it's going to be a virtual meeting. Uh, can you talk about what went into the effort to get these meetings online, and will you be meeting as frequently? Yeah, we're still going to do a, do a, a twice a month meeting. Um, the 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 last meeting I um, I did it remotely because we could only, we had we had three selectmen plus uh, oh. Elaine and um, and Norman and and uh, and uh, our cameraman um, and Connor. And, but we just figured it would be just safer to, uh, to try and do them like this. You know, this, this being my first uh, Skype interview, so this is actually going to be great because it's uh, warming me up for, for, the, for actually talking to a piece of equipment as opposed to uh, the way that I do everything. I've always been a person-to-person, -person, so this is, uh, this is all new to me. Absolutely. I have to admit, it's new to me, too. This is my first Skype interview as well. So. <laughs> uh, that's great. Great. You know, I but you know, I just really, really, I, you know, I, I want to again, you know, to, uh, put out uh, put out thanks to uh, again Tom Grilk and, and Jack Fleming at uh, at the BAA for for just always always being there for us, and also Tim Kilduff who who has worked tirelessly with the Twenty Six Point Two Foundation and really set up uh, set up the town to uh, uh, for this collaboration. You know, be, between the the BAA, the Town of Hockton, 26.2 Foundation. That's how what, why these things all happen. You know, uh, the we have the BAA as the regional, but we have what used to be the Hockton Athletic Association, which is the 26.2 Foundation, working for us here in the town with the desire to inspire and all the other volunteer things that they that they uh, that they do to to help out. So that's what that's what, what you know that's what gives me the impetus to to call the BAA was. Because uh, because of the way that they, they set up this, such a friendly friendly relationship years ago for me. Absolutely, the Boston Athletic Association, the twenty six point two Foundation, they've done some great work throughout Absolutely. town. Absolutely. And uh, I want to ask you about uh, Hopkinton Police Chief Edward Lee. It was his last day today. Uh, could you talk about what it's been like to work with him and his contributions to the community? Just great. I, I mean, he came in. Um, it was just a, a total professional. He's a total professional, and 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 and, and just a, a, a sweetheart of a guy. He came in and um, rejuvenated our our uh, police department and made us the number one safest community in the country. What more could you ask somebody? You know, and it, that, that he he came in with that goal it, to um, to reorganize. His Department and make it number one, and he did it. And it was just, I'm just, I, I, I wish him all the luck in the world. He's just the greatest guy, and, and really thank you, thank you for, for, for making the place number one. What more could you ask for? I remember when, when we came in at uh, at number three, and I said, Oh, come on, when are we going to be number one? Joking. <laughs> a year and a half later, we're number one. It's a so, great, great thing. It's unbelievable. Uh, Number one yes. safest community in the country. Unreal. Can't ask for anything more than that. Right. And we'll certainly uh, miss Chief Lee as well. He was always a great interview as you are. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Well, John, uh, we want to thank you for all the great work that you do in the community and all the great work you're doing now. And also, of course, a big thank you to the Boss Athletic Association and the 26.2 Foundation. And thank you for joining us uh, here on HCAM today. Thanks. Thanks for arranging this, and really, you know, thanks to every, thank you to everybody, and and please stay safe, you know, keep up the social distancing, wash your hands, and uh, God bless.